Alright guys, so in this really quick tutorial we're going to be creating a video player. So in order to do that we'll start by creating a brand new app. I'll come here and say next. I'm going to call this code tutorial underscore video player. And I'm going to go ahead and create that in a folder. My desktop, same principle. Create. And you'll know that in uh, the new version of Xcode, Xcode 12, that you have all these pieces. Now there's no app delegate, scene delegate, uh, which also means that it comes with a lot of stuff that we don't necessarily need. So I'm going to start by getting rid of this canvas, or just putting it on the side. And I'm going to get rid of, uh, actually, just going to rid of this uh, fetch request, these items. I'll be getting rid of the default list they have inside here. And, oopsie, there we go. And then I'm going to get rid of these functions that they also created. All that stuff. This one. I'm getting rid of the next one. Make sure we don't accidentally delete to the, um, of these brackets because we need to make sure we keep this one in here. Uh, and then I'm going to go down here and get rid of the item formatter. So this is really all I want to keep. And to get rid of those errors, we need to have something in here. So we'll come here and we'll say text, hello world. Kind of like what we used to have in the old version of Xcode you'll see that all the errors go away. So first we need to go to the imports and we need to add AV kit. And I'm gonna create a new item called AV kit. And it's gonna be equal to AV player. I should say, I should say that it's gonna be called AV player. And it's gonna be of type AV player. You'll be familiar with this if you even did UI kit. Uh, and I just need to really give it a URL. So what I'm going to do is for my old project, I had a URL for a recipe video. So I'm going to copy that in. So this is the one we're working on. And I'm literally just going to paste that right inside. So all you have to do is add a URL. So the URL that I put in here is a video. Um, so I put that video URL in. Uh, it's going to say, oh, it doesn't like the fact that you need an actual string. Not a uh, uh, URL, not just a string. So what we can do is we can typecast it. So I'm going to get rid of that for a second. It's a URL. And then I'll say, there should be a st string option. There you go, right there. And then I can almost guarantee it's going to give us another error at telling us we need to force the optional down. So because I know for a fact that this will work, making the string URL, I'm going to force it. And then in here, instead of having a hello world, I'm going to make this a, a or sorry, video player. And then you need to have a player. So all I have to do is insert the AV player. And that's technically it. So if I come here and hit resume, you'll see that we can play that right on the spot. It'll take a second for the canvas to build. But once it builds, this video should play. So there are some other things that you can do. Um, for instance, maybe you want to automatically play this. So here, I'll zoom out a little bit. I'll click play. You'll see that the video is right here. And I can just hit play. And I can play this video. All right, and then I can also come here and say like on appear. Sometimes you maybe want the video to play automatically, right? So you can say the AV player dot. You can say maybe um, dot play. So we can actually force the play on appear. So I don't even have to click play. It's going to automatically start playing without me clicking at all once it loads. There you go. All right, so there are other different properties that you can manipulate here. So sorry, AV player. You can say done. You can kind of fiddle around with all of them, but that is pretty much it. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks.